Maybe we're working out the garbage tomorrow before we leave. Garbage, correct. What else? What are we forgetting? I'm sure there's something. I don't know. We'll have to go through our checklists. <laughs> we haven't packed a stitch of clothes yet. Who needs clothes? <laughs> I think we might be a little chilly without clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, so we are packing up for a big trip. Uh, 11 days and a couple big places for us, right? Yes, fun times. So we're gonna Not hit- chaos. Uh, Niagara Falls, St. Louis, visiting with some family, and uh, getting stuff loaded. Going through the list. Yep. Um, quarter after 10 at night and uh, we're leaving tomorrow so but I still have to work so uh, I got to get all my stuff packed tonight so that when I get home we can get right on the road but I also wanted to do one last check of the refrigerator and we are good. All right, refrigerator is packed. It's down to temperature. We got some meat in here, which are good. Lock that up. And uh, I gotta put my clothes away. Then in here, get a little better light in here. You can see. We have these little bins that we can load right up in the house with all our stuff. Just carry it up, fits right inside. So it makes it so much easier when we're loading things up. So. All right, there's that. Time to go to bed. Okay, after countless trips back and forth to the RV, we are loaded we are exhausted from all the trips back and forth but I think we just about to have everything loaded um, I think all the other household chores are done so that we can be on our way just waiting for Dave to get home from work do a final walkthrough to make sure I didn't forget anything and then we'll do our safety checks and hook up and load the back of the truck and we should be on our way stay tuned all right, we'll follow. We'll follow Brewing. It was our first stop. Um, Schenectady. Schenectady, New York. It's pretty good. You know, they have um, food trucks that show up on different nights, um, and uh, pretty good beers. Denise's first time coming off the levelers. <laughs> oh. Coffee's 
on the hood. Oh, I probably need that, huh? <laughs> that would not have been good. I got pictures of you <laughs> through the side mirrors doing the job I normally do <laughs> as I sit in the truck with my heated seat on. <laughs> We're off to Niagara Falls. I somehow thought they'd be bigger. Kerbage. Yeah, so sometimes. Actually, it's time for me to lose again at Kerbage because <laughs> I think I've only ever won like two, twice. Come on. In the almost five years. You've, you've come really close though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In so, so, almost five years, I've won two. Yeah. I think Dave was sick that day. Okay. Hey, so I just wanted to show you guys what we do when it's a rainy day. As you can see outside, it's not exactly the best day for doing outdoor activities. So, you know, when we're out on the road and it's kind of rainy, we try to find indoor things to do. So we're heading to a distillery. It's called Niagara Craft Spirits. Yeah. So it's on the Niagara Wine Trail. And uh, I figured that's a nice indoor thing to do on a rainy, dreary Saturday when we're on the road. And know? they supposedly make all of their spirits from local, locally farmed corn, and so we will see. Looking forward to it. Yeah. We'll keep you posted. Hey there, how are you? Hey, good, how are you? How are you? Good. First time in here? Yep. So, we're at New York State Farm Distillery. And what that means is we have to use at least 75% New York State farm products okay. in our final product. I like to think that we're pretty darn close to about 90%. Wow. I know that almost everything we use in our products come from the farms and fields in a 15 mile radius of here. And you know, no problem, they, they had that building, they were renting it. Yeah, so they yeah. had a rented yeah. space. Because if you went down the street, you'd walk right by if you didn't know what was Yeah, about. they have millions of dollars in equipment. Tell the people what we're doing. We are wine tasting. We are at Freedom Run, Freedom Run Winery. And we are doing a wine tasting. You get four four wines. Did you choose which one? Winery two. <clears throat> so we're actually on the hunt for a good white. So Denise is gonna taste the whites. I am. I split them up. So, we'll see. This place looks pretty though. Beautiful tasting room. So this first one should be on a whim. Big. Oh. Food. Okay. 
So we wouldn't normally go out of our way for kitschy Americana stuff, you know? World's biggest, right? No, but it is kind of fun. So we're staying in a harvest house tonight and lo and behold, at the harvest host site, which is called Richard's Farm Restaurant in Casey, Illinois, they have the world's largest pit pitchfork. I mean, come on. Right where we're staying. Like, we don't even have to go anywhere. Show them the sign. Okay, I gotta show you the sign. So there's a sign in front of the restaurant. Apparently, Casey, Illinois has big stuff. It must be for a small town. They have big stuff. So in the front, we're gonna walk over here, in front of the restaurant, because they have a sign. So, there's the sign. Apparently, they have all kinds of big stuff. If you wanna go see the world's largest wooden shoes, World's largest pitchfork, world's largest wind chime, knitting needles, rocking chair, golf tee. I mean, come on. I think I think we may have to take some time since we're right here in this town. Okay. Tomorrow morning, maybe before we leave, right? Yes. We gotta check, <laughs> check out, out here. the world's biggest. I mean, stuff. think about regrets in life. If you didn't see it all, you'd be like, we were right there. Why didn't we stop and see it? You're probably right. Hey, seriously? Why? 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 <laughs> All this open space. Ali, come here. Come here, Ali. And you gotta wrap yourself around. Come on, go around. Thank you. Come on, Ali. She is the queen of wrapping herself around things. What's in that little building, though? I don't know. It is beautiful. Restaurant in the parking lot and stuff is beautiful. Yeah, so far, I mean, we just got here. We went in and ate lunch, and uh, the food was good. And they have the world's largest pitchfork, so I mean, come on. You can see back here, it's just a big gravel lot, but it's back behind the building. And uh, looks like they got plenty of room. It doesn't look very busy here. It is a Monday. But... Yeah, it's Monday. But there's a nice walking path. And uh, beautiful fields. Goats. And an attack chicken. I have an attack chicken. <laughs> scared of over. <laughs> Okay, this is downtown Hi, Casey, Illinois. And uh, apparently they have some big things here. So we're gonna check it out. First stop, world's largest rocking chair. That is a big wind chime. Say. Here he comes. He's gonna make it and make noise. Very excited about it. The 
largest teeter totter. Oh, we can go up it, but we can't operate it. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, it's moving. <laughs> Oh, it's locked in place. That is a very big rocking chair. The world's biggest pencil. Largest barber pole. Oh, how about? Uh, I like the old Ford tow truck. Come on. Let's go in here. Hi, we're in a cave. Smile. Hi, Ali. Aww. Yeah. And a whew, giant taco. Oh, a lot of candy. Nice. Wave! <laughs> What's that? We have a golf club. We have a golf club. And a mouse trap. Mouse trap. Golf club. Interesting. <laughs> I'm trapped in Casey, Illinois. Yeah. Largest 
Okay. <clears throat> now you've seen it. Never knew it existed, <laughs> but now I've seen it, right? <laughs> We didn't know half of these things existed. <laughs> well, we didn't know any of them existed That's until right. today. But, but now we've seen them, so I mean... We have pictures <laughs> and video. Check it off the bucket list. I mean, no, this has been fun. It it's actually been it fun. It's been fun to run around town and, and look at all of them and find all of them and find the ones that even aren't on the list. Definitely. It's, it's definitely worth yourself. And it's, hey, look, we killed the whole afternoon. Yeah. I mean, and had ice cream. You could so. definitely kill kill and a couple a hours, or golf you could do all of it in like an hour if you wanted. I mean, you know, if you're just passing through and you just want to. They gave take the dog. We, we bought the dogs pup cups at the ice cream place, and they were big pup cups. So yeah, so. good ice cream. It was. All right, I think that's it. Back to. Back to the RV and uh, chillax.